Okay, now here's the graph paper tool uh, compared to the table tool. Okay, the graph paper tool is good. For example, I'm creating a chessboard, and if you look at this two graphic here, it's actually almost the same. Actually, it is the same, but the structure of the lines is different. Okay. So, but before that, I'm just going to delete this first and delete this one too to show you how to do the the graph paper and the table tool. So the graph, graph paper is this one here. It's under the shapes and it's this one here, graph paper. Okay. So now, in, when you click on the graph paper, you're going to have some uh, the paper columns and rows here. Uh, okay, let's just make that four columns and four rows okay now I already set that and then I hold down control and then I click and drag so once again this is my this is my graph paper okay. now I'll go to my table tool which is this one here the table tool so I click on my table tool and in the properties here I'll make this four rows okay same with the graph paper and then also four columns. Okay. Now same thing, I hold down control and I click and drag. Okay. Okay, these two are very identical. Okay. But what if I want to create a, an alternating, you know, uh, a boxes here like the chessboard and this is my table tool. So if I it's easy to do that in the graph paper. So I click on it. The graph paper and I click on arrange and I click on ungroup all okay so once I ungroup all see this ones are separate objects now okay just going to undo that undo okay now I'm just going to select the alternating boxes hold on control select this this uh, okay this I'm going to select this one I'll make it say black hold down this one hold down shift okay I'm selecting the alternate boxes and there there you go so that's the graph paper now if I'm going to do that to the table tool I can't really do that quickly so see if I click on my table tool and I click on arrange and break table apart okay and let's see how it yeah see I can't it's still intact okay but I still can do it by going to arrange and ungroup all okay but the problem is when I click on ungroup all okay the lines were ungrouped so it's not in the boxes now okay so that's the difference between the graph paper and the table tool but I can still do it by using the uh, smart fill tool see if I click on smart fill I just click or before doing that I click on my smart field and I'll specify the color to black and I'll just click 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 and click okay that was fast too okay so it's, it has advantages and disadvantages but the advantage of the table tool then I have to see that one separate now so it's not an object here so as long as you understand the use of the table tool and the graph paper, that would be good.